The Russian army was able to enter Kharkiv region because Kyiv could not hit Russian territory with Western weapons, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said in an interview with the New York Times. For the same reason, the Russian army continues terrorist attacks on civilian targets in Ukraine. Kharkiv is under daily strikes. On May 25th, Russian aerial bombs hit a hypermarket. You saw what happened in the construction hypermarket. They just killed people, children. They were blown to pieces. But we can't respond to them with anything. Even when you see the targets, get information from the intelligence agencies, get maps and satellite images. You see where they're standing, but you can't answer them. I don't think that's fair. Kyiv's allies understand the consequences of bans on striking Russia with Western weapons. The Swedish defense minister said that Ukraine has the right to use Swedish weapons to hit targets on the territory of the aggressor country. Strikes on military facilities in the Federation are part of Ukraine's right to self-defense, the head of the Czech government said. As a country under attack, Ukraine certainly has every right to use all means of defense. Petr Fiala, Prime Minister of the Czech Republic in the publication in DPA. European government will agree on a position regarding the strikes of Ukrainian armed forces on Russian territory, the Bloomberg has reported. EU defense ministers have arrived in Brussels to take part in the talks. I truly hope that all the countries who have these assets uh, will also give the permission uh, to Ukraine because it cannot be normal that Russia is attacking from very deep uh, to Ukrainian territory and Ukrainians are fighting with one hand behind the back. So it's, uh, it's not normal. So this is why I have a very clear stand here that, of course, Ukraine should have all the possibilities to defend their own country and their people striking inside of, of Russia, I have never excluded it because uh, Ukraine is fighting a war and they are defending themselves. It is quite feasible that they have to strike also inside Russia. So from my perspective, that should not be uh, the debate. The NATO Security General also attended the meeting in Brussels. Jen Stoltenberg was one of the first to call on Ukraine's allies to lift restrictions on the use of Western weapons. The Economist notes that the appeal was preliminary addressed to the USA. It will be very hard and difficult for the Ukrainians to defend themselves if they cannot hit military targets just on the other side of the uh, border. Uh, these may be um, um, missile launchers, it may be artillery, it may be uh, air, airfields which are used to attack um, Ukraine. Um, and if Ukraine cannot hit those military targets, of course, it will be much harder for them uh, to uh, defend themselves. Some allies have not imposed restrictions on the weapons they have delivered. Other uh, 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 have. Um, uh, I, I believe the time now has come to consider those restrictions, not least in light of the development in the war, the evolvement uh, into a war which now is uh, actually taking place along the borders. Germany, Italy and Belgium oppose Western weapons strikes against Russia. They fear a possible escalation by Moscow. The United Kingdom, the Netherlands, the Czech Republic, Sweden, Finland, Poland, Lithuania and Latvia think otherwise. They are in favor of lifting restrictions. Ukraine's main donor in terms of military aid, the United States, does not support strikes against Russia with Western weapons. Although U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, after his visit to Kyiv, said that Ukraine decides for itself how to use Western weapons provided to it. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Nikita Skoblikov, UATV News.